Majesty, we will cut to your path. I will not place my trust in the sword of a traitor. Yet trust his sword we must, traitor or no. I see no other way. We track back. Commandeer a ship and make our escape. <sighs> her Majesty cannot abide weakness, least of all in herself. We must make her confront the reality of our plight.
one. <sighs> it's okay. We're okay. Geese knows you've escaped. You must hurry. You are Captain Azalus. You will follow me. We must reach the airships before they do. You would let us leave knowing who we are. Lady Ash, by all rights you ought not even to exist. That you and Captain Ronsenberg were made to appear dead is like a hidden thread laid bare. Your actions hereafter will pull at that thread and we will see what it unravels. This is our chance. We must see this through and get to the bottom of it. I believe tis for the good of Dalmasca and the good of the Empire. Very well, then. Thanks, Lamont. Uh, I must apologize. Hmm. Penelo, for you. May it bring you good fortune. Thanks. Let us go.
such a great shame. I must confess, I thought you the one who would help us restore peace to Dalmasca. No matter, we hold the proof of your royal lineage. A maid of passing resemblance will serve our purposes now. As for you, my dear, the Empire requires you no more! What was that? A nethocyte. <sighs> your Majesty does not disappoint. Ever quick to spurn an honorable surrender, as was your father. You know nothing of my father!
We've secured an Atomos. Come. An Atomos? All skiff, no ship. Hardly fit for a leading man. So I can fly it then? You're mad. Oh. Can't we go faster? Not yet. gone too fast that have noticed. Balthier, your handkerchief. I thought you might want it back. I shall wear it close to my heart. Perhaps you forget all that Ondor has wrought. I do not forget, Majesty. It was by his counsel, dangerous though it may have been, that we were able to free you. You must meet with him, Your Highness, and give ear to his words. He may act in league with the Empire, but his heart is not. It is as he says. I ought not have kept Ondor at so great a distance for so long a time. I have played the fool. You were only being cautious. Majesty, I would ask you for some time. On our own, we struggle in vain to restore Dalmasca. I must search out some other way. Until I should find it, I would have Bash remain at your side. Doubt him you may. But I measure his loyalty to Dalmasca no less than my own. I know you would not speak so lightly. Very well. Keep her well. Go to Ondor and there await my return. When Vostler learned my father had been killed the night of the treaty signing, he returned to Ravenaster, there to aid my escape. There was still time before Vane's reach extended too far. We thought that you could protect me. However, when I then made the announcement that you had taken your own life, I must have seemed a model citizen of the Empire. The announcement, you see, was Vane's suggestion. Of course, at the time I was reluctant, but I could not perceive his reasons. Now it is clear he meant to drive a wedge between us. Halim, we are past all this. Bushirba must stand with us. We can stop Bane. <sighs> I once knew a girl whose only wish was to be carried in her uncle's arms. Your Majesty is a woman grown now. Then Bushirba will aid me. Suppose for a moment you were to defeat Vane. What then? You cannot simply rebuild your kingdom with the only proof of your birthright stolen. Without that, 
The Grand Kilti Asanpa Omi says cannot and will not recognize your majesty as the rightful heir. You may yet be a princess, but without proof of your identity, you are powerless. You will remain with me. We do nothing till the time is right. I cannot just wait. Then what does your majesty propose we do? Uh, Uncle Halim. Incidentally, what is the going rate for rescuing princesses these days? Food would be a start. The good stuff, mind you. This can be arranged, though it will take some time. Time enough for a bath, I hope. Dirty business, you know. Ah, best bring a change of clothes, too. What are you doing? <laughs> this is Balthier's ship. I'm going to retrieve the Dawn Shard. It's the proof that I need. I know where it's hidden. I'll return his airship later. Are you crazy? This is something that I have to do. Not only for myself, but for all those who have fallen. I will not be made to hide. <sighs> I'll fight alone if I must. You still have Bosch, right? Besides, you can't just go around stealing people's ships. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to concentrate. That's quite enough, Your Majesty. What, what do, do you, you think? think? A, A bit, bit over the top. top? In my line of work, you never know when something like this might come in handy. I'm, I'm trying, trying to, to concentrate. concentrate. Uh, uh. I'm leaving you with the Marquis. You can't! Trust me, you're better off staying here. Suppose you kidnapped me instead. You're a sky pirate, aren't you? Then steal me. Is that so much to ask? What do you have that I would want? The Dynast King's treasure. The Dawn Shard is but one of the riches that lie waiting in King Wraithwall's tomb. <whistles> King Wraithwall, you say? Kidnapping royalty is a serious offense. It won't do much to lower the bounty on your head. How much is the price on your head these days, I wonder? Allow me to escort you in Vossler's place. Will you be joining us? What? Are you kidding? I don't want to stick around this place. Then I'm coming too. Canelo! Don't leave me here. <sighs> of course not. Then it's settled. We should leave before the Marquis realizes she's missing, like proper kidnappers. Dr. Sid, does this set Draclaw? I have confirmed he receives funds from Lord Vane. His agency in the fall of Nabudis is also certain. Yet, with Judge Zekt, who led the assault, missing, the truth remains difficult to ascertain. The long, cold years have clouded my eyes. I cannot see my own son's heart. <laughs> <coughs> My lord. This illness will claim me. 
So then, who is to be my successor? The Senate fears the capable Peregrine Vane. They prefer a young, fledgling Emperor. Gabranth, once in the past I laid siege to your homeland. The Republic of Landis is long since gone. My allegiance lies wholly with the Empire. Perhaps. But what of your brother? He did not accept us as you did. He fled to Dalmasca. Did you never think to follow him? I follow his every move. He is an enemy of the Empire. He will be cut down. So you would kill even your own brother for the Empire. Be that as it may, Gebranth, your ruthlessness is not without merit. But it must not become this way with Larsa. You must ensure that it does not. So then you ask me to be his sword, to strike where he might not. Rather be his shield. Gabranth, keep your close watch on Vane. His is the keenest blade of all. My lord. Do this for me, Gabranth. I could not... I could not bear to see my sons... <sighs> war with each other again. <clears throat> This come in handy often? It's tough being popular. Wouldn't want any admirers dropping in while we're away. Well now, that's as far as she goes. We'll be in Yacht from here onwards. Across the Sand Sea, to the Valley of the Dead, and to King Wraithwall's tomb below. So when you're mm -hmm. in Yacht, Sky Stones don't work at all. That's why we gotta hoof it the rest of the way, you see? Happy you get to teach me something for a change? Well, if you want to be a Sky Pirate, you gotta know your... Hey, what do you mean for a change? Come on, At least we thought it. to bring I'm entertainment. Oh yeah? Says who? You want to see what they think about it? I wouldn't be so confident. 